guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my channel. I have finally moved into my new apartment. It took a lot longer than expected. So I got to Japan two months ago and at that time, I was thinking, you know what, I'm going to apartment hunt the first week, choose an apartment, and then the second week, we will be able to move in. Obviously, <laughs> that did not happen, and it took us about three weeks to find this apartment. I'll explain more later, but yeah, apartment hunting in Japan wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. And apparently, we moved in very quickly because house hunting in Japan can take months a lot of my friends i spoke to said it took them at least two to six months to move into a new place which to me is insane so i'm very grateful that we finally have an apartment because we were in a serviced apartment for about six weeks and you know what it was pretty difficult because it was a one bedroom with two people plus a dog so um yeah i don't know how we survived that but i am in love with my current place there's still a lot of work to be done i will film an apartment tour once it's finished in today's video i am going to be showing you guys four apartments I viewed when I apartment hunted on the very first day. I filmed um, all the apartments I went to just because I thought you guys would be interested to see what Japanese apartments look like. We apartment hunted for another two weeks before we found the perfect place. Just before we start, let me show you guys what our conditions were. Number one, convenience. As I get older, time is money. So I need to get to places quickly. Convenience was the most important for me. Number two, Something relatively spacious. We have a dog and we want her to be comfortable, obviously. So we needed something that, you know, was at least big enough for her to run around freely. Number three, quietness. I don't like crowded places and I like to keep to myself. So yeah, I guess the quieter, the better. Number four, a relatively new building. Now, I didn't need the building to be very, very new, but I wanted something newer than what I had when I was living in Japan last time because our place was just super old and it also was very inconvenient but on the plus side the rent was very cheap. Number five easy access to a balcony and a full window. Now Eric and I actually don't care about the view but our dog cares about the view because she loves just staring out the window and staring at people walking by so when we told you know people that we wanted an apartment that has a view for the dog, people would be like, are you getting an apartment for you or for the dog? And I'm like, mm, kind of for the dog, but I really want her to live a happy and comfortable life. So why not? For our budget, we wanted something less than our Sydney apartment. So in Sydney, we were paying $5,000 a month for rent. I know it's Sydney, but our landlord actually wanted to increase our rent to $6,000 a month. But luckily, because we got our Japan visa and we booked our flights before they were able to increase it, whew, that was okay. No key money would be nice because in Japan, there's key money, but then also there's the deposit. Now, the deposit, you can get some of it back when you move out as long as there's you know no damage to the apartment. Key money is pretty much gift money to the landlord to say thank you for letting me rent your apartment. That's thousands of dollars which you won't get back. Now obviously because we have a pet we have to pay extra deposit. Now depending on the apartment from what I've seen it's usually one or two months extra deposit which is completely understandable and I was happy to pay that. But anyway those were our conditions. Let's start the apartment tours. We are at apartment number one. So this is the Genkan. Um, this is where you leave your shoes. And it looks like there's some storage in here. A little bit of storage. We have a storage room, which I love because I have so much stuff. So, well, also we've got like seven suitcases with us so we can store them all in here. Our dog's crate, that all can go inside here. So that's perfect. Bedroom number one. I love how bright this is, like what I've said is that I really want an apartment that has lots of nice natural light because the apartment we had in Sydney was really dark. We have a walk-in closet, look at that. Go into the bathroom. So much storage in here, like look at all these guys, like this one. Oh, no. There we go. So there's more storage here as well, like all of these open up, so that's very handy. In here as well, even more storage, like 
Storage is so important to us. And then just on this side, this is the bathroom. It's a very fancy Japanese bathroom, to be honest. Now, also what's cool about this place is it's got a sauna. So if you press this, apparently like mist comes out of this thing on the roof and this whole room turns into a sauna. So here, more storage. And then, just up here, is a toilet. So you've got like your typical Japanese toilet here, a sink. This is the main area. We have so much space. Light is beautiful. This is the bathroom. I mean, this is not, this is a kitchen. Okay, so we've got big sink, gas stoves, love gas stoves. We don't have an oven, but you've got like a grill here. And this is really rare for Japanese apartments, but we've got a dishwasher. We have a second bedroom, so we can use this as an extension of the living room if we want to. I'm not sure if we will, we'll have to see um, how we place everything, but this is smaller than the first bedroom and there's a very small closet here. I mean, you can't, it's kind of deep, but you won't be able to fit too much in here. First apartment, but so far it's looking very good. So. I need to confirm the price, let me go and ask. By the way, this is Alex, he's helping us oh, hello. <laughs> around. Eric found your videos. Oh yeah. And then when we found out that um, you were our real estate agent, I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, this one is 425,000 yen a month. We are at the second apartment. So, first off, we got the Genkan. This is a little darker than the first one. So, here we got storage for shoes, toilet. So, like the first apartment, a Japanese toilet and a sink, storage at the top. Now, in this one, this is going to be the main bedroom. So, they said this place hasn't been cleaned yet, so all this stuff on the walls that's going to be cleaned off or they're going to replace the wallpapers. But this, I feel like this room is quite small, it's only going to fit through just the bed and that's it. But we've got the closets. And then here, Got, oh, just more storage. This is Eric's closet, then this is my closet. <laughs> Bathroom, so looks like you can put like, toothbrushes in. I don't know, just want a toothbrush fit in there? I don't no. know. I don't know. We have a space for the washing machine, and then just to your left, right here. We have the bathroom. This one also has the sauna option, like the first apartment. Uh, where is it? Right there. Yes, storage. So you know what, I feel like I prefer the first apartment because it's got the storage room. This would be the second bedroom, so I guess we can I don't know, use it for like a study or maybe a guest bedroom when uh, people visit because I know a lot of friends and family is going to visit us. Here, it's very spacious. This is the living area. So this is the study here, but to be honest, this is a huge study. That I feel like it's almost like a third bedroom. If we were to rent this place, we would um, turn this one into like maybe my filming studio and maybe my computer can go here. We also have like a garbage disposal, which I didn't, I mean, I've never used one before. Oh, we've got cabinets here and storage area. So the other apartment did not have this. This is the third place. So Genkan, there's no like actual proper Genkan here, but um, you just leave your shoes here or put them in the shoe closet, which is, I feel like that's what we're gonna do. It just makes it more cleaner. Main bedroom, so this apartment's already staged, so it gives us some idea on what we can do. A walk-in closet. I love this, so much space in here. We can, I don't know, put some plants. Oh no, I won't put a plant there. I can't take care of plants. I killed my cactus a couple of years ago. <laughs> nice open kitchen. I really like the look of this. No dishwasher here, but that's okay, because I don't actually use, well, we have had dishwashers in the past and we barely used it but we've just got gas stove, we've got a little grill here, storage, yeah, these are all storage, then it becomes this side, another living area. This is a second bedroom, so this is kind of like uniquely shaped, so we can use this as like a studio. Around this way there is another closet, just a small one, so I love how they staged the closet as well. But that is the third apartment less storage I think compared to the previous ones we went to. Over here we have first we went to the bathroom. So it's similar to like the other apartments. This is the sink area so we've got some storage similar to the other apartment. And then we've got some storage down here as well. Skincare there. Alright then we've got the washing machine spot right here. Some more storage and then this actually connects to the kitchen. So this is the kitchen here very spacious gas stoves. Just a dishwasher. 
Yes, that's a dishwasher. Oh. Oh, that's fancy. Is this where you hide your snacks? So I can't eat them. <laughs> Lots of space. I love this. Like it's just very open. I like the square layout. We've got a very small closet in here, but you can store. No, but you can store quite a bit in here. This would be the second bedroom, so I guess you can use this as a study filming studio. You have a walk-in closet, toilet. So yeah, I feel like all the toilets are very standard. They all are quite the same. And then this is the main bedroom. It's big. Like I really like the size of this closet space here. So oh, decisions. I like this place a lot. So the price of this one is 480. So, so those are all of the apartments I viewed on my very first day of apartment hunting. So they were all very beautiful and honestly I would have been happy to move into any of those. But there were a few things that we had to think about. So for example the first apartment was, oh, that was my favourite. But the location wasn't very convenient. It was quite far from the nearest train station, so that was out. The second apartment, Eric and I weren't too keen on the look. The third one I liked, but then I just felt like the layout was quite strange. I prefer just, you know, normal square rooms, but the shape of the rooms were just, I don't know, just kind of threw me off and I thought that it was going to be hard to furnish. The last one was actually my favorite, but okay. In Japan, apartment hunting works differently to Australia and Eric and I were kind of taking our time. In Sydney, Eric and I had no issues renting and we were able to get the places that we wanted almost immediately because how it works is that people just apply for the apartment and they choose the application that they like the best. And for Eric and I, because well, at the time when we were renting an apartment, we were you know a married couple, we had dual income and we didn't have a dog at the time. So it was much easier and we were like always chosen for the apartments we rented. In Japan, however, it's first come first serve. Now, I did not know this because when I moved to Japan six years ago, I was renting apartments through companies that were catered towards foreigners, which is okay, but honestly, in my opinion, from what or from my experience actually, I felt that the apartments that they were offering were too expensive for what it is. They were much older and also because we have henna, most of them don't allow pets. So that's why this time around we, you know, tried to find an apartment the normal way, which was a lot harder. But at the end of the day, I felt like it was worth it because oh, I am so in love with our apartment. But also I have to mention that, let's just say we were apartment hunting in Sydney. Because we have a dog now, that makes us much less favorable and it would have been 10 times harder to find an apartment in Sydney as well. So the fact that we were able to find this apartment, oh, I'm just so grateful. But anyway, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more Japan vlogs, make sure you follow my vlog channel. I have been uploading quite a lot of Japan vlogs there. So if you want to see moving in vlogs and just vlogs of me hanging around in Tokyo, check out that channel. I also have a gaming channel for Genshin Impact guides. So if you want to, you know, find every single chest in Genshin Impact, follow that channel. I also have my social medias, which I will link down below. I'm so excited to make more Japan guides. And now that I finally got an apartment, there'll be lots coming soon. So if you guys have any recommendations for videos you want me to make, let me know down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.